Now what's up guys, it's your boy Richie and welcome to a new episode. Now this episode will be a bit different from my other videos because I'll be showing you what I've been packing, or what I have packed for my trip to London. Let's start off with the t-shirts, I want to have three t-shirts with me because I'm a massive packer otherwise. But anyways, the first t-shirt is this Yeezy t-shirt that I actually purchased from um, Urban and Outfitters like a while ago. So it's in size M and uh, that's the that's my main t-shirt for layering like my favorite t-shirt for layering so the second t-shirt i have for you guys is this one and it's from new yorker i actually bought it a while ago as well i bought it in size s and it's perfect for layering that's like my second favorite t-shirt um that is perfect for layering and uh, yeah that's the second t-shirt i have for you guys and of course guys you always have to have a t-shirt that you can chill in and it will be this one from, well, I don't know where exactly, but I actually bought it from eBay and it's a vintage t-shirt and it has tags on it. And that's all I have for my t-shirt, so let's go into the jeans. First off, I have my chilling billing pants and they're also from New Yorker. I'll be having these ones when I'm at home, like chilling. So now let's go into the jeans or the pants or whatever you want to call it. So the first ones are these, okay. That's a bad throw. These ones, I should um, distress them by myself. Um, actually, yesterday, um, I bought it in 2832, and it's from the brand called Only and Sons. Now, the other pair that I have are these ones, and the reason why I'm taking them is because they have these crop effects down here. I'll probably show you guys in the next video I'll be doing. Um, while I'm in London and I'll show you guys how they fit on me they're actually from HM bought them a while ago so yeah that's the third pant I have for you guys and for the last jeans are these bad boys boom there you go more than expensive I know but favorite jeans of all times I get compliments like every time I have them so one of my favorite jeans most definitely now let's go into the headwear and as you know guys headwear is very important to me so the first one I have is this like satin green um, cap from a brand called uh, Rick London. The thing is I haven't been wearing it a lot during the winter. All the spring is officially here so I'll be wearing this more a lot. And the second cap for you guys is this one from Zara. It's a brown suede like uh, one of my favorites as well and it's very easy to match so that's the reason why I'm taking it with me. And of course guys, I can't leave Sweden without my wide brim hat from uh, HM. It really gives me that clean look and uh, it's very easy to turn heads with that hat. Now it's time for the hoodies slash sweatshirts. And the first sweatshirt I have for you guys is this one from Acne Studios. Um, one of my favorites, very good material on it. Like I fell for it, I actually bought it on a sample sale. Um, I bought it in size M, even though it fits me like an L, I'm sorry, I mean S, um, it's very, very slim fitted, but which I like. So that's the first sweatshirt I have for you guys. And of course, when you're at home chilling by yourself, you have to have a hoodie. So I'll be bringing this hoodie with me. Um, very easy inspired, even though it's not easy. And uh, I've been getting a lot of compliments on my channel for this hoodie. People be reaching me out and asking, where did you buy this hoodie, Richie? And anyways, I bought it from a, um, a website called YesStyle and if you want the link to it, I can just, just holler at me and I'll give you the link. But anyways, both in size M and uh, very, very good material um, and it's warm as well, perfect for the winter. So yeah, that's the second hoodie I have for you guys. And the last item is this one. Um, it's actually a kimono, a beige kimono with a white linen shirt um, without buttons. I really like it. It has that V-neck effect and I actually saw Kanye wearing it once but anyways one of my favorites and I will be wearing it because I haven't had the chance to wear it here in Sweden because of the weather now that's all from the sweatshirt slash hoodies slash shirts slash kimonos and uh, let's go into the next section now let's go into the outerwear and of course guys I bought three jackets with me because I don't know how the weather is in London but anyways the first one is this black coat I bought from Asus and I actually bought it in size um, XS so the reason why I bought it in size extra small is because if I wanted um, the coat to fit me very slim and it's from Asus I don't know if I mentioned it 
but anyways um, one of my favorite coats at the moment and I have a gray one you probably see it on my Instagram as well oh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram by the way at call me Richie um, just give myself a quick shout out but yeah that's the only coat I'll be taking with me so let's go into the next one now the second one is a jacket that I unfortunately haven't worn a lot because of the weather in Sweden but anyways it's this yellow um, stone island wind jacket and uh, I bought it in size M actually very good material and uh, well yeah one of my dopest jacket from stone island okay because of i don't have any other clothes from stone island but anyways and i got this jacket for a steal i actually bought it from the store called jack lindesh out in shista here in stockholm and uh, very nice guys and um, shout out to you guys at, at jack lindesh so that's that and let's go into the next jacket i had to switch up between the jackets so the last jacket i bought with me is this suede navy blue dark blue um leather jacket one of my favorites um it's from the brand called vagabond leather people been like asking if it's from a high-end like fashion brand but no I actually bought it for just like 90 pounds you're probably wondering if um, i'm not taking any shoes with me of course i am guys so the first pair are these all white ultra boost like guys if you're searching for shoes but comfortable and at the same time street those are the key and my second and last pair of shoes are these all black uh, Chelsea boots from Asus. I actually bought them because one of my friends will get married. So I thought to myself that it would be a good idea if I have a clean, a pair of clean uh, Chelsea boots. And uh, as I said, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but they are from Asus. And I bought them size 40. Now thank you guys for watching once again. Um, I really appreciate it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Because this video was basically just showing you guys what I've been packing, what I've packed for my trip to London. <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time. So take care and uh, keep subscribing, keep commenting, and I'm out. Peace!